More than 15,000 scientists are sounding an alarm about climate change. They call it a warning to humanity. It comes exactly 25 years after 1,500 scientists issued a similar warning. So now it's tenfold. CBC science reporter Nicole Mortellaro is working on this story. We've got her here in studio. It sounds dire. What prompted this warning? Uh, it was started in 1992 when 1,500 uh, scientists had actually issued a similar warning, um, citing similar things that are going on right now that we're concerned about. So what happened was um, William Ripple, from uh, he's a researcher, he's a lead mm -hmm. author on the paper, he happened to just look and come across this. And he thought, okay, you know, I want to see if anything's changed, and it really hasn't. So some of the main concerns, the oceans. Let's, you know, take a look at that. We've got a decline in freshwater, unsustainable uh, marine fisheries, and ocean dead zones. So all this is a big concern because we rely on water and a great deal sure. and marine life. Um, and then you have forests. Um, there has been, uh, between 1990 and 2015, almost 130 million hectares. That's the size of South America um, that are gone, okay? And that also results in a lack of biodiversity, which is being seen in, in forests and also, of course, marine. Gone as in Life. chopped down? Yeah, yeah, it's gone. Um, and then now, of course, the big thing is climate change. Uh, since 1992, I mean, you're looking in 1998, since 1998, we've actually, the 10 warmest years have occurred since then. Have there been any positive uh, changes though? Because sometimes you look at things and you think, well, there's nothing I can do because this is such a big problem, but maybe there is. Well, th the ozone hole, that has actually just last week, they came out and said that the uh, hole the, over the Antarctic mm -hmm. is the smallest it's been since 1988. So that's a good thing. And one of the big concerns out of this study as well is the population. Um, it's unsustainable the way it is. And what we can do maybe is reduce our carbon footprint by reducing the size of our families. So that's something else that we can look at. And that's something that we can do. And we mm -hmm. can change our, our, our way of life. Okay. Yeah. I'll go home and talk to my kids. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. Thanks. You can read more about this story on our website. Just go to cbcnews.ca.